My concern is him trying to jump up there. Or at least with your computer, he would actually have to physically, like, try to reach it. With my TV, he's just like, I'm just going to sit here and then suddenly scratch the screen. Yeah. I can't help it, you're not cute, too. <laughs> just like, I'm just not as stupid as my brother. Just see his mouth like twitching up like he's He wants to do the chitter but he can't. You think you could pull a bird? Well if cats do that, they'll like sit in the window and they see the birds and they hear them and they start making a weird chittering noise. It's really cute. And he can do it. He's just trying to figure out how, because he doesn't do it very often. He's also just like, I don't see this many birds in one place. One of the many reasons I want to live out in the country with trees around my house and have like a crap ton of windows so I can set up a room specifically for the cats where they can just have like they don't need a curtain or blinds or anything. They can have a window access like all day. I tried for everything was on Popeye for a salt turkey. <laughs> like Chance from Home Alone. <laughs> well, his whole thing was it was a mama with two chicks. Oh boy. And the mama was conveniently behind the tree when I put him in the window. So he just saw the chicks. <laughs> so he was all excited doing that little chitter and all kinds of stuff. And he's like, look at those flightless things of meat. And then the mom came out from behind the tree. <laughs> and it was hilarious because he actually backed up off the window seal back into my arms and was pushing on the seal of his front paws. Like, I'm sorry, I don't want your babies. Like, it was hilarious. <sighs> and he was really pushing, too. Like, he was actually really trying to get out of there. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, ever since then, we had a turkey or two come into the yard, but we'd always see him, like, just run from the window. He'd be like, nope. <laughs> it was great. It was also the same thing after I traumatized him with snow. Yeah. We had, like, really fluffy snow one time, and it made a nice little muffin top on the table outside on our patio. And I was annoyed, like, really annoyed with him being trying to get outside worse than what we used to do. So what I did was I'm like, fine, you want to go outside? Fine, I'll take you outside. I plopped him right in the middle of that muffin top. And it was high enough up that the only thing you saw was his tail go from like this to this really quick. <laughs> and ever since then, whenever it snowed, he would actually hide beneath a bed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I traumatized him. <laughs> but he stopped trying to get out. So my goal was met. <laughs> At the expense of his mental state. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to figure out that those aren't real. Earlier, when I turned this on, he was, like, half asleep on my bed, and he basically skid it to get off my bed to get to my baby. At one point, she did it, and she was moving her arm, and he kept moving his head, like, stop! I can't well, see! Well, what you would do is, like, he's trying to watch it, and you'd just be like... Like, I'm trying to watch TV. You would essentially, you just block his line of sight. <laughs> See, I don't think he knows a way to get closer to your television, so that's why it's working a little bit. Mm -hmm. If those stuffed animals weren't there, he'd already be up there. Mm -hmm. That's the exact reason why I put them up there. They're the perfect thing to put up there as a barricade. I like how Freddy just does not give two craps. He's like, no, I'm not that stupid, and I do not care. She's like, Mom, you took me off the bed. You moved me out of my space. Where are our treats? It is treat hour. There's a squirrel. Do you have them on a schedule? Mm -hmm. Somewhat. I don't think he's that interested in the squirrel. He's like in sleepiness. <laughs> 